Hi, I'm back. I'm in my new house. It's Conspiracy Monday. And as you can see, I don't have my camera. I am on my webcam. And my camera broke during the move. Oh my gosh. Okay. And I have something in my. Um, it stopped charging for some reason. Um, I had it in the front seat of my car. I was trying to film my house and stuff like that for you guys. And I dropped it. <laughs> Don't film and drive. Okay. Um, and then I think the the little charger thing was plugged into it. So it didn't work. Okay. So I ordered a new one. It's on its way. It got sent back to the post office because the house is new construction. They couldn't find it on Google Maps. And now I have to go pick it up tomorrow. So today you're going to have to deal with the webcam. Hopefully I'll get my camera back this week. Or a new, my new camera in this week. My old cameras. I, I don't know. Anyway, so Conspiracy Monday topic. The human implant or the chip implant or the RDIF implant or whatever you want to call it. Okay. What do I think about this? Um, I feel like technology has um, come to a point where they have started creating artificial things for the human body in order to function or, you know, make life, you know, longer. Um, there's an artificial heart. There are, you know, defibrillators. There are lots of things that you can put inside of a body medically to keep it, you know, functioning properly. Okay. We all know that. And I think when that first came out, it was a bit crazy, bizarre, and strange as well. Okay. Um, so I think the chip is kind of the next thing as far as uh, that type of technology and advancement of, you know, the medical, um, as well as, you know, a lot of people use it for ID tracking. And if we think about it now, I'm not saying I'm for or against it. I'm not putting it in my body, but, um, I'm saying that, you know, we carry our phones with us everywhere. People can track us by our phones, satellites. Um, our cars have tracking devices in it. So wherever we go, we're basically tracked anyway. But the item is not inside of our body. And, you know, a lot of people have um, theories that say, oh, these devices can like instantly kill you or send you messages to do crazy stuff or give disease give you diseases or blah 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 um and i've seen movies where that has happened where they have implanted things inside of people that they could explode they could cause the person to like be programmed to do certain things that they wouldn't normally do uh they, they could cause the person to be tracked anywhere on the planet um even the Suicide Squad movie that you know recently was out last year they implanted something in their neck the, the size of a grain of rice and they could like kill them on you know of a press of a button on a cell phone so a lot of things um, especially in movies are pointing in the direction of there being implants inside of people uh, if you watch the movie Cloud Atlas and if you watch um, you know the character that uh, Haley Berry played the futuristic character she had like all these wires running in her face and chips and like stuff like that in her skin so basically the future could actually hold um, you know I mean the movies could actually hold what's going on in in the future you know stuff being implanted in us um, computer chips and wires and all that kind of crap hanging out of us but if it's going to make you live longer <clears throat> and it's technology, w are you going to say no to it? You know, if you say, okay, well, you know, if you put this chip in your body, you could live to like a uh, 200 years old. Sorry, y'all. Um, my mascara is like falling in my eyeball. I can make you live. I can let you live to be 200. You can see your great, 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 great grandkids. Okay. Not just your grandkids, but your grandkids great 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 grandkids okay what do you want what would you do if someone said look you can die at like 75 might make it to 100 if you eat right and like not have any fun and 
if you have good genes or I implant this thing into you and you live to be about 200 and if you know by then we might have some new technology that can make you live even longer what are you gonna do you're gonna say yes or no you know some people are uncomfortable with the idea of prolonging life but if you think about it like back in the old days even in the Bible they mentioned that people used to live a lot longer so think about it. Were we supposed to be only living a certain lifespan? Are we supposed to live longer? Um, and how much knowledge could we gain and what could we accomplish, um, you know, living longer? Like if I was to live to be 200 years old, could I be on YouTube for 200 years? Will YouTube exist in 200 years? Will I be the next creator of something fabulous? Uh, who knows, you know? Uh, <laughs> where where do you see yourself in a hundred years you know that's what y'all are going to be asking y'all's dates you know how people say well where do you see yourself in five years you know that number is going to go up and then increase or where do you see yourself in 20 years is that my phone oh gosh i hate telemarketers Ugh. okay so yeah it's going to create a new perspective um maybe longer lifespan uh it could also and you know with the positive there's always the negative you guys so you can't just think everything is all bad there's always going to be some positive and some negative that's going to come with it okay the negative thing is yes they can track you and where you go the negative is yes they could do some government experiments and like program these things to make you do crazy stuff because they've been doing that anyway to people for years with diseases and you know mind control so that's nothing new but the thing is you know it's technology and it's in advancement so if it's going to help me live it's going to save my life if it's going to um, give me a quality of life that I might have ever had before I might say yes but if it's an option as far as like a work ID badge like they're showing on some of these news channels I'm not gonna do all that for no work ID badge okay if it's gonna save my life yeah if it's going if, if it's just gonna get me into my workplace faster like a robot no you know if it's benefiting me yes if it's benefiting a, a corporation no okay <laughs> and you know I'm sure there's gonna be some black market surgeons to take it out if if people start getting uh, paranoid about it you know there's always that type of business on the black market so like look I have this chip implant in me I don't trust the government anymore I'm crazy get this thing off of me I need to pay you how much you know black market surgeons there you go I'll take it out of you <laughs> um, yeah so who knows I mean I'm being funny about it because um, I don't take too many things seriously because like I said nothing's all good and nothing's all bad okay um, a lot of people say oh they're implanting chips in your tooth when they do dental work on you and, blah, and the aliens can communicate with you and stuff like that you know um, there's you know there are tech you know there are tools now that will you could rub over your face and see if you have any implants in you you know there's technology out there that, that can show that type of thing so it's <laughs> a lot of that is you know fiction and you know just paranoia so you don't have to be afraid of that type of stuff but like I said our phones all have this um, tracking device our phones could actually send out a sound or a signal to you know disrupt our brain waves or something like that uh, sonic you know uh, weaponry can be used in the sky so you know what what would be the benefit of that you know um, I don't live in fear I only try to see the good and the bad and meet in the middle you know let's see where this goes let's see what happens let's see if this is going to prolong life people are going to start being able to you know live long enough to see their dreams come true or if it's going to save lives i don't judge things too quickly until i really see the possibilities of them okay um 
if we think about it like uh, 50 years ago the cell phone would have been seen as the same thing as the chip oh there's a device where you know you have uh, there's a device where they can track you and they can they do all this this is not but you're still carrying it you know um, it also helps your life. People can run businesses off their cell phone. They can make money off their cell phone. They can see people on the other side of the world on FaceTime or, you know, video uh, on their phone. It connects people too, just as it follows people, just as, you know, uh, people can spy on you and see what you're talking about in your house. It can do both, okay? It's like fire. Technology is like fire. It can, it can warm you or it can burn you, okay? It's all depends, it all depends on how you use it and how you view it okay um like if i really wanted to say some things that i didn't want people to hear i'm gonna go out into the middle of the woods and, and whisper write it down on a piece of paper in a different secret code language okay there's nothing i need to hide anyways you know uh, what do i need to hide <laughs> okay um if there was anything I wanted to hide, believe me, I would I wouldn't tell anybody cuz that, you know, that's the best way to hide something is don't tell anybody. Um so, yeah, that's what I think about the chip. That's what I think about you know, this ch technology a lot of like Bible thumpers will say, "Oh, that's the mark of the beast and it's you know, they talk about it in Revelations, you won't be able to buy nothing unless you get this mark or whatever." I'm like, mm. You can't buy nothing unless you get a, you know, a job, you know. Now they say, okay, well, you can't buy anything unless you have this mark or this tattoo or this chip or whatever. But I'm still buying stuff and I don't have any of that. Okay, I'm still shopping. I'm still shopping. <laughs> don't have any type of implant, mark, nothing. Okay. So, um let your fears go away and and look at both sides of the story and see where you can benefit from it okay if you, you look at if you face something with fear you're only going to see you know that side of it if you look at something as an opportunity and how it can benefit you and how you can make money with it and how you can turn this so-called thing into some profit then that's how you're going to start seeing it and that's what it's going to do for you you know um my mom is like one of those people who like, we'll turn off the TV, um, you know, unplug the computer, turn off the computer, turn off the internet because she thinks, you know, we're being spied on. And that's probably true. But, you know, but she's older and she thinks people, you know, want to hear what old people talk about. I don't know. Um, I'm like, well, you know what? They, The only people that will really spy on you is if they were trying to get, you know, if they were going to, um, if they needed to know if you were a threat, uh, it could be consumers chiming in on households to see, you know, I mean, not consumers, but, um, people that corporations that make products spying on households to see what they think of certain products and blah, 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 blah. You know, they do that in cars. So, you know, they they pay people and they give people products you know to to talk about on on youtube or facebook or or instagram so it's all about money it's all about marketing you know if they're going to spy on you they're going to spy on you to make money most of all and they're not going to spy on you to see if you're plotting against you know uh something unless you really are on a list of, to pe of people to watch you know <laughs> um so that's what I think, you know, and I'm sure it's out there. They do get spied on. We do get spied on. Um, if we had a chip, they could probably spy on a lot of other things like, you know, our vital system, our vitals and, um, you know, they could cause our heart to beat faster or slower or whatever, but that's good and bad. Okay. It just depends on who's controlling the stupid chip in your body. Um, Maybe in the future they'll have where you can control your own ship. Uh, and there'll be a passcode on it. And nobody can access your whatever, you know. Just like the phone, you know. Or just like your alarm system. I know people can tap into it and stuff like that. But mainly it's only you. And it's you pay for it monthly 
subscription to have your heart beat at a certain rate so you don't have high blood pressure anymore i don't know <laughs> i gotta pay my high blood pressure bill this month or else i'm gonna have high blood pressure next month you know i don't have high blood pressure but for those people that do uh, like you have a medical chip put in you to slow down your heart or to to uh, to keep you at you know with a certain pulse or blood pressure or something like that uh breathing uh whatever temperature of your body i don't know you gotta have to pay monthly for that you know be like okay let me pay my medical chip bill so i can function properly this month i don't want to be out of breath <laughs> that's funny okay um uh oh my medical chip is being repossessed because i, I haven't make, been making payments i guess i'm gonna have to start eating right again and or you know uh you know it, i think it's crazy though like I, I think it's infinite possibilities and technology always makes you lazier and so i really don't know what to think about it like what do you guys think about it do you think it's something good you think it's something bad you think they can only use it in extreme cases do you think it's going to be open to the public to get certain types of chips maybe there's a chip to make you more confident and more self-esteem and i don't know what like i i would be like hi nice to meet you do you have a chip what's your chip for oh okay <laughs> um or you can just scan with your phone there's an app and you can scan a person and see what types of chips they have in their body and be like oh okay he got the he got the crazy chip she has the birth control chip okay she's on birth control okay um Oh, he has the wife chip. She's spying on him. You know, that's what's going to, the future is going to be like. Your body's going to have apps inside your body. Okay. <laughs> Everything in a computer and in a phone is exactly how the brain and technology is going to work in the future. So you're going to have apps in your body. <laughs> um, hopefully I won't be part of that generation because that's probably in the next 50 years or so it might be the next 10 years you know technology is growing fast but I don't want to be chipped I don't want to have an app in my body I will keep it on my phone if I have to die you know um, rather than get chipped I have to make that decision when I get there okay I'm like hmm what are the benefits of me staying alive at 85 89 uh, 90 years old versus me going on to the next experience don't want to stay in this old wrinkly decrepit body with a chip or do i want to move on hmm uh, and then also think about it you know if if they feel like you're no longer productive in society they could just turn off your chip you know like you suck bye and then you slowly start dying it's kind of like that movie with Justin Timberlake. I think it's called Out of Time or In Time or something. And their life was like time. And they had to get more time on this, on this watch or something. I think that's what it's going to be like in the future. But with apps and, you know, stuff like that with health. So, going to be all turned into like robots or something. Mm. Humans are going to be seen as like prehistoric <laughs> do you remember when people didn't have chips and apps <laughs> they had to rely on their own brain you know there might be chips and apps to make you be able to use more functions in your brain so you know they say the average human only uses 10 percent of their brain what if there's like a chip or an app that you can put inside your body to make you be able to use like 50 percent of your brain okay crazy right all right, I'll see y'all later. This was Conspiracy Monday via my webcam. I'm coming to you guys from my new house, if y'all notice a difference. Yes, I'll be getting a new camera, hopefully this week, so you don't have to look at this low-quality film. But yes, I had to come and see you guys today and say hi. If y'all have any questions, please put them in the comments, and I'll try to answer them the best of my ability. Um, and I'll see y'all later.